Hey folks, Justin Seitz here from AutomatingOSINT.com and today we're going to talk about JSON or JavaScript Object Notation. And so you've probably seen this term in a lot of different places and really the simplest way to think about it is that JSON is a document that you can pass back and forth between client and server that describes an object. So for example, an object might be a tweet, it might be an Instagram post, and what JSON allows us to do is take a standardized format for describing different things. Of course, an Instagram post is different than a tweet. So we can use this standardized format. It's easy to read, it's easy to manipulate, and it's easy to handle. When JSON's passed back and forth, it's treated as a string. But what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to create, take that string and create real Python objects from it. So as you can see here in this example tweet, this looks very much like a dictionary or a list that we saw in Python. So we need to be able to take that list or take that, that dictionary as represented in JSON and convert it into native Python objects. Lucky for us, we have a module called JSON in Python. So what I'm going to show you here very quickly is I've taken a, a single mention from the Twitter API uh, from my account and I'm going to paste it in here to the example mention variable. There we go. So there's our JSON document there. And you can see that it's describing various pieces of this mention on Twitter. Um, you can see hashtags and other pieces of information. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this into a Python object. So I'm going to use the loads or load string function from the JSON module. I'm going to load up the example mention that I pasted in. And then I'm going to actually inspect it so that I can show you how this conversion works. So we're going to set a breakpoint here. We're going to save our script and then we're going to run it. Oh, like magic. All right, perfect. So our breakpoint gets hit. Of course, if we mouse over the mention object, that's going to tell us that, yes, in fact, we do have uh, the conversion has happened. We haven't had any problems. Now we're going to use the type function to actually look at what is this object now and we see that it's a Python list. So we can ask it, what's the length of this list by using the len or length function? And it says one. So what we can do is we can retrieve the single item from this list, which will be a tweet, by just saying mention zero. And there we have it, we have a tweet. It's now a Python dictionary. So we can see all of the information from this tweet, including the contributors, the text of the tweet, you know, when it was created, the username, hashtags, so of course now we can reference this, uh, this object by saying mention zero and then using a key from that dictionary. So we can say give us the text for example. Or we can also ask when was this uh, tweet actually created? So we can again reference mention zero which is the first item of the list and then we can use the key created at. And so this is exactly how JSON was designed to work that you can pass this standardized document back and forth and you can use Python or really pretty much any programming language has a JSON library now uh, and you can basically convert that into a native uh, object like a dictionary or a list and then we can begin to use that object in our Python scripts. So anytime you get lost or you're using a new API and you're receiving JSON back, refer back to this video and you can see exactly how we do it. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Again, please check back to the site for new videos. And in our next video, I'm going to show you how we can actually create HTTP requests to emulate a web browser retrieving a web page so that we can begin to build uh, our, our username checking script. Until next time, guys. Thank you very much.